Evening, everybody. Gavin here in Atlanta. And I got a special treat for you guys tonight. So, as you guys know in my previous video, you guys always see I invest heavily in equipment. And I've been dragging my feet and I finally pulled the trigger in regards to what I want to do for a new Valky. So, I'm going to do a little unboxing for you guys tonight. I'm not going to get it on it until tomorrow. Uh, Today is Monday, Monday night, the 25th, June. So I just put the kids down, got this box today, want to tear into it. But uh, we got the new uh, Cage 360. So if you guys are familiar with the uh, two-wheel Velky that they put out, it's, uh, it's a big step up from the jungle wheels that we had. I was just sick of tearing into the jungle wheels and repairing the bushings and the bearings and I finally had a tire blow out and I was like, you know what, this, I'm done playing with it. So I finally bit the bullet. For you guys who don't know, this thing's pretty costly, um, 500 plus. Again, this is the 360, so it's a little more. We got the, I ordered the universal kit for it, uh, or the universal install kit. I know they have a, I believe it's for a Snapper Pro and maybe an X Mark, like a, like a direct you know bolt in so I'm gonna have to drill a few holes but I'm not gonna do that tonight I'm just gonna kind of unbox it but this is the cage 360 uh, two-wheel Velky they create I really like this because it was built really heavy um, the suspension on it was pretty sweet you're able to to tweak it to the rider to get a more comfortable ride less fatigue at the end of the day um, you have the option of 10, 11, and 12 inch wheels. Obviously ours is going on the trim star, so based on what the salesman on the phone told me based on the height of the deck, um, I couldn't go with an 11 or a 12 inch, so we just got the 10 inch tire. I was looking to try to get the 12 inch, to be honest. Um, bigger the better, that's what I th put on it. Um, also, the, the big thing about this is it, it's built better, but the bearings are tapered. So these are like trailer bearings. Um, they tell you it's in a sealed system, so there's no greasing required. Comes with a two-year warranty. I don't know how it holds up, but hey, if I don't have to grease these things three to four times a week, I don't have to replace bushings and bearings every three, four, five months, and they hold up, they'll be worth it. And again, a lot of y'all are going to say $500 plus for a Velky is going to be crazy, but hey, I bit the bullet that, that you get what you pay for. I, I'm, I hope these... My plan is that these will hold up. Obviously, they're going to need minor maintenance here and there, but the big things uh, that just drive me crazy with them breaking and greasing and just the daily stuff. So, uh, let's get unboxing. All right. So, you can see it comes in this nice big box. It's heavy. From, what, uh, from the specs on the unit itself, it's, uh, this unit should be, I think, 48 pounds, they said. Might be a little more, maybe 58. I think it's more 48. But again, this is what they call the Cage Wheel Caddy 360 with a universal attachment and 10 inch tires. Again, you have the option to, uh, to do that. Universal mounts what works for me. So, based on my unit. And that's a uh, Cage. Find them online. They do a bunch of snowblower stuff, they do a bunch of winter stuff. They also make these wheel caddies. So, boxes then. Again, I'm excited. Our jungle wheels broke down about 10 days ago. I was too busy to order this quickly, so I got stuck walking a bunch of yards. And by the time I ordered it, I couldn't get it here before the weekend. He said Monday. I said fine. So, out of paper. Out of paper. Out of paper. So, we got a box full of parts. Serious looking, man. I wonder if it's so heavy. Let me take you for a look. All right, so here's what we got. I just took everything out of the box, just kind of laid it out. So they've got the two 10 inch tires. Uh, they've got the dust caps, which are gonna be real serious. Like I said, these have the tapered bearings. So it's a closed system. It's got a dust cap on it, so you won't have to mess with it. Um, I don't have to grease it all the time. It is a three-piece rim, so if you guys are familiar with the jungle wheels, 
It is a three-piece rim, so changing the tire isn't bad. Um, take the bolts out, exchange everything over, and then piece it back together. This is the platform. This thing, look at the thickness on that. That thing's real deal, dude. That's, that's heavy. That's heavy. All right? You're going to have probably a pin that's going to go on here. Somewhere's going to go in there, lock that in. Lock the tire in, put the dust cap on. You've got a grease zert for the suspension arm once it's attached. Here is the owner's manual. So it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, guys. So here is the owner's manual. Cage wheel caddy. Again, one of these is probably for the Snapper Pro, one for the X Mark, and then one for the uh, Universal. So you can see there's three types on here. So there's the, this is, I believe, the 250, and then this is the 360. You can see the arm, it swivels. So when you back up, the tires are round to go around. And then the 500, which is kind of basically the beefier of the 360, but you are not allowed to go 360. It will jackknife and catch. But you can see it's got some serious suspension on it. You know, so does, so does the 360 and the 250. <laughs> Look at this. There's a book back here. It's as big as a phone book. Let's see what it is. Hmm. Oh, look at that. It's a Bible. They send you a Bible worth ordering. I have never in my life seen that. That's crazy. That was in the owner's manual. Hopefully Jesus has got an answer to keep this thing working. Alright, so we've got the deck here. This is going to probably be the, and again, I haven't looked in here, guys, I promise. I just undid it. Look at the bell on that. Look at that. Holy Jesus. So that's the universal mount. You guys hear that? That's a mount. This thing weighs probably, no lie, this is probably weighs about eight pounds. That's heavy. All right? So it's got a quick connect. In there, so that's your, your mount on the back of your mower. And this is gonna come out like this from your mower. All right, so where is, so this other box, a bunch of bolts, right? Let's see, all the brass, I bet they're grade eight. They are grade eight. All right, let's see, and this last box is definitely gonna be the suspension on. Yeah, you guys see that? She's pretty. Blue. Distinctive. Alright. U-bolts. You can see from the diagram how those go. Holy sh... I almost dropped that junk on my foot. Look at this thing. That almost fell on my foot. See that? That's solid. You guys would have witnessed a broken foot. That's what you would have got. Look at this here. Wheel caddy. This thing's all scratched up. Look at that. Hey, y'all saw it. I didn't drop this piece. I dropped that piece. Look at that. Scratched up. Is this scratch or is this grease? No, that's all grease. That. Yeah, that's all grease. Everything up there is grease. But that, big old scratches. Good googly. What do you think, should I send it back? Now you do pay for it new, right? The wheel caddy 360. Pinch point, you guys see that? Danger. What, something falling in your foot. Boy, I didn't read that before I took it out of the box. God, no. I guess that's why they put those warnings on there. I may call them. I may not. What do you think? Scratched and gouged. 
it's probably gonna be scratched and gouged in the first couple mows anyway, right? So here is the suspension. Jesus. These parts are heavy, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That's heavy. So that's your suspension in here. This has got to be adjustable. There's grease certs in here. Right down in there. Yeah. No, this is for the U-bolts. So this sits... Let's see. This sits like this. So this sits up. All right, let me just show you the picture. It sits like that. But that is the suspension. So this thing's serious. I'm gonna read the owner's manual, guys. Again, I was just unboxing it for you today to see how everything comes out. All right. I mean, they package it okay. I mean, you guys think that's gonna do anything? There is a hole in the box, though. And it was really, you see there? Because the way everything was sitting in there, it was this greaser that was poking out. It looks fine. So, you've got suspension arm. U-bolts, the U-bolts will go on the suspension arm, which will connect to the rod that's here that connects to the bell inside. That is the mount. So that's that. Dust caps, closed tapered bearings. We'll check it out. Pricey. I don't know if you guys have ever looked at this. I had the jungle wheels on my Trimstar 36. I never really looked at anything else other than these because I know these were the most expensive, but at the same time, very few people have them. There's very little information on them online, on YouTube, anybody doing videos. So if you guys seen other videos that Hurricane X3, I'm always looking to try something new, see if it works out. I ponied up. This was, I'll tell you the price. I'll tell you the price. Let's see if it's on here. Let's see if it's on the bill. This is just a, no, it ain't on here. 600 is what this cost. So the, two, the 250 model, 250 series and 360 series are gonna be less. But, or excuse me, the 250 and the 500 are still less, but 360 is their top model. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. I Honestly, all those scrapes on it, who gives a shit? It's gonna be scraped up anyway. I'm not too worried about it. It ain't like something's bent or broken. It'll probably scratch within the first couple weeks. Wouldn't be surprised. But for the money you spend, this thing's just gotta operate. So I'm gonna take some time probably tomorrow after work, after I put the kids down, um, bring the mower here in the shop and put this thing together. And if I get a chance, I'll make another video and see how it all assembles. Again, I'm only one person. I record everything on an iPhone and I don't edit nothing. So what you see is what you got. But it's real, it's raw. And what do you know? You get a free Bible with it for $600. Could it at least been a hardcover? All right. <laughs> it's cool though, I appreciate that. Companies out of Wisconsin, Again, didn't, never heard of them before, don't know much about them, other than researching, was on lawn site, and a bunch, couple people were talking about what's the best Velky out there, one wheel, two wheel. I'm 6'4", 240, so, you know, it's gotta be big man certified in my book. It gets beat up, it gets run, it gets used. My big thing is I wanna really see how these bearings hold up. They're tapered, non-greasable, the hustlers I have, they've got non-greasable spindles. I've, I've had issues before, but in all honesty, it's only happened typically after I used, after I cleaned the mower, pressure washed or anything like that, and one of the guys get too much water down in there. But who knows? We'll check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the Cage 360 Series two-wheel Velky. Pricey, but 
keep you updated, see how it holds up. Till next time, subscribe, questions, comments, put them down. Anybody use this, let me know. If you've got any feedback on it, know anybody who's used it. Maybe they know something that's going on with it, then I don't because I don't know one person that has it, never watched a video on it that doesn't come from this company. And we're going to change that. So, till next time, be good. I'm out. All right, y'all. Well, I couldn't help myself. I ain't got nothing going on. It's starting to rain outside. So let me show you a few things with this manual, right? I haven't read it. I just kind of took everything out, undid it. But color pictures in terms of um, how the diagram works, they give you based on the size tires, right? The height, and you can adjust the deck so it's not towed down or towed up. Uh, they give you all that information. It seems to be the installation instructions are very simple. There's not a lot of parts to this. Um, as I told you, the suspension, there's a spring inside here. Um, there's a big red spring, and that's how you, uh, there's a pinch nut, and that's how you load the, the tension on it so you can get a better ride. Um, installations on the mount. So this is on the 500 series, uh, how to put the dust caps on. Uh, all that stuff. I think these are probably going to be for the 250 or what I'm thinking is going to be the 250. Yeah. So here's what it looks like. Set up by cage. Again, I just put a few things together. Obviously all the tapered bearings are in there. And if you guys aren't familiar with tapered bearings, Google it. It is a big difference from what comes on the jungle wheels. I can't speak for anything else. Um, maybe like, what is it? The right, uh, right make it, maybe a, a Velky two, something like that. So solid. And again, this is, you can link these with these U bolts. You can go high with it. Cause there's another slot here, right here or go low with it. Obviously, I haven't read any of the directions. I was just kind of piecing it together to see what she'd look like. Um, but I'm sure depending on how it mounts to your mower, if you're towed down or towed up, you're able to adjust that. So we'll play with it more tomorrow, but sorry, couldn't wait. Here's a rough look at it.